there's like big Barbies. <laughs> I- Barbies don't have pussies. <laughs> Why? Do you talk to her? Do you put food in her mouth? I mean, you put cock in her mouth. Why not put food in it? <laughs> what if I just drew a little smiley face on a dildo and was like, can I get an extra plate, please? For Ronaldo over here? Excuse me, excuse me, beach. Extreme loving friend. That's what we're experiencing here today. My nipples are extremely loved right now. I don't know what that means, but I know it means demonetization. I don't even care anymore, YouTube. Beach. Let's go to the beach. Beach and experience some extreme love. I bought my fiance sex doll. And I like to dress that bitch up as a maid and do a hers. And I want to get a sex doll. But mine's going to have a penis. Do they make sex dolls with penises? Can they make me a female one with a penis? I don't even care anymore, YouTube. Can I get a can I get a sex doll with a, a a female sex doll with a penis? I'm gonna fucking Google it. I'm not even gonna wonder anymore. This is my life now, guys. This was my New Year's resolution. Stop wondering. Just find out. Female sex doll with penis. Female sex dolls with penis. Oh my god, they sell them. Oh my god, my neighbors. <laughs> I gotta remember that I got a name. Oh. Shit. Shit, they've censored it. That's great. Alibaba.com selling them female peniles. I don't think you can show nudity that's censored anymore on YouTube, so no more coot, sorry. I mean I see sideball. That's sideball right there. <laughs> okay. Um I don't know. I, that's um, that's not what I was looking for, but okay. I mean I want I was kinda hoping for something like this. But that's the man. I'm feeling very oppressed. God, stop zooming in on the fucking dicks. <laughs> okay, well, this was a video that was was a reaction. Now I'm just shopping for dicks. Real big boob Japanese sex doll with penis. Where is it? I do not see it. Okay, I'm just gonna leave and actually get on with this video. Yes, of course you can buy sex dolls with penises. That's the dream. One day, guys. Dave lives an idyllic life. Dave. Okay, Dave. With his fiance Shauna Shauna. and their ten dogs in Nova Scotia. What? He's living in a zoo, fam. There you go. Oh, she tied me. The pair met. Okay, they look wholesome. They have a lot of dogs, but they look wholesome. You wouldn't think that they. There you go. Oh, she tied me. The pair met online Let's five just... years ago, and Dave popped the question after just a month. What? Hello? Hold on. <laughs> Since he accepted, what? He said yes. First of all, that dog just shut that door. Did you see that? This dog's what? I'm five years ago, and Dave popped the question after. Why do I have a cat? I trained my cat to fetch. You cannot train a cat to do anything else. This dog said, "I love you." My cat fucking ignores me on purpose. <gasps> I should get a dog. Do you hear me? I love you. Oh, oh, oh. See? Since he accepted her Bullshit. love for dogs. She said yes. And while Shauna is mad for dogs, her fiance has his own obsession. Something with a little more kink. Do you remember? Trying to say dogs can't be kinky? Rude. David, it's furious. What I loved about David was his bubbly personality. I'm looking uh, at you across this thing and I say, wow, I can't believe how uh, lucky I am. <laughs> so I said, you know, I'm not going to waste any time. I took her downstairs. Within hours of meeting, what? an unsuspecting Shauna was led down into Dave's basement. Oh shit. Oh shit, spooky music. Oh. oh, when you just love a lady, you take her down to the basement. Go down, go down, go down. Nah, fam, I'm not going down on your sex doll. I wonder if he makes her do that. I mean, I'm kind of curious. Oh my god, why is it in a wheelchair? Is it wearing tights? I know, I know, I know. Stop king shaming, stop king shaming. No. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm going to buy one of these one day, but no. I'm not king shaming, okay? I'm just judging. There's a difference. Where that she music, met. though. Why is it in a wheelchair, though? Why are you keeping them in the basement? This is shady as fuck. Where she met Bianca. <laughs> Airedale. And Amaya. 
Wait, what? Said, oh my god. That's All it? All these dolls hanging off meat racks. <laughs> what? Hold on, the title of this is I bought my fiance a sex doll. You telling me he's keeping multiple women in his basement, hanging them from meat hooks and keeping them in wheelchairs? Okay. Owning a sex doll is one thing, but this is a whole new level. This is a whole new fucking world, David! Oh! This is... You have lipstick on your teeth, Bianca. This is a whole new world. This is some Jasmine Aladdin love story. Fucking a whole new world, guys. I'm not going to sing it. I can't sing that high. A whole new fucking butthole. <laughs> oh no, it's happening again. I'm losing it. Bianca, fam, save me. Save me, Bianca. What were the other one called? Avery and butthole. <laughs> Bianca, Avery and butthole. I keep these women on meat hooks and in wheelchairs in my basement. Don't worry about it. There's like big Barbies. <laughs> Barbies don't have pussies. <laughs> Barbies don't have pussies or nipples. Look at this one. She's a sexy elf. You could get sexy elf sex dolls. Do they come with dicks? I took their hair off. I put it on myself. Oh, yeah. Hold I dress them up and, you know. Actually, do yeah. Wait. What if you're fucking one and the, the wee falls off? What if you're having sex with Bianca and her fucking weave goes flying? Oh, baby. Oh, BB. Oh, BB. Oh. A whole new world. A whole new sex toy. <laughs> A whole new kettle of fish. Oh. Oh, he keeps them on meat racks, meat hooks. What's the difference? These women aren't women. They just sex dolls. I didn't know she was playing Barbie with these things. I thought she just purchased one for her love. Like. Honestly, I don't think it's that weird. I'm, I know I'm making jokes. Like this guy, I mean, he has a fiance and he still keeps the sex dolls around. If she's cool with it, that's fine, right? They just live in their fucking lives. I'm not gonna tell you to get rid of them. Buy more if you, if you want, David, or whatever your name is. Get a, get Bianca 2.0. How do you wash them? Do you put them in a dishwasher? Can you, is it like that episode of Archer where that robot chick takes out a vagina and leaves it in the sink? Is that what you do? I don't understand sex dolls. I want to understand the sex dolls, I really do. What's the difference between a flashlight and a sex doll other than it comes with all the bits? Doesn't make you a sandwich though, does it? I mean, what's, what, what, what would be, what? What's the difference between holding a fucking dildo and an entire man attached to a dildo? Aside from the cleaning and the maintenance, I don't see what the difference is. But you're keeping him in your basement on meat hooks for <laughs> kink shaming this is kink shaming this is just fucking what are you doing in the basement david all these dolls hanging off meat racks <laughs> dun, 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 dun. i took their hair off i put it on myself oh, yeah, I dress them up and you know Actually, do everything. Yes. i was thinking of just big barbie like barbie doll I think, oh wow, this is the woman of my dreams. Hashtag Barbie ain't gonna pussy in the comments. agreed to share her man with his big Barbies. This came as a massive relief for Dave, who's been collecting and making love to these dolls for over 10 years. Extreme love. You've never seen love like this before. 10 years? You've had these things for a decade? Do you bleach them? Do you disinfect in them? You must do. Oh my God. Oh my god. That's it? There's no fucking follow-up? I feel like there's a huge difference between just like owning a sex doll and fucking it and having a collection for 10 years and keeping them in the basement, putting them in wheelchairs. Like why? What? What is happening? I wonder why he started collecting them. I mean, could he not get laid? Is that is that what it is? It doesn't seem like it would just be that simple. Because I mean, I mean, he wasn't no... Oh, Brad Pitt or whoever the fuck is attractive these days. Hey, but he didn't seem like an, an, you know, he seemed like a nice guy. Surely. There's gotta be a fucking follow-up to this. That's it? Just, yeah, mm-hmm. 
My fiance. We teach our kids to pole dance. Man's hand sewn inside his stomach. Oh my god, this fucking channel is reaction gold. Commentary gold. Wants to be too fat to move. Oh my god. My sex addiction almost killed me. Oh my god. We like family around and people around. Don't we do it? Yes, we're very really family oriented. Family around and people around. Holy shit, it? holy shit. There's Bianca. There's Bianca at the dinner table. We like family around and people around. Don't we do it? And your sex toys at the table. Tonight, they're joined by Sean. Is that why you bring your fucking here. sex toys to the dinner and table? Bianca. <gasps> Dave's dolls oh are no secret. Bianca, don't eat that before the rest of your meal. Yeah, you'll lose your appetite. But the family aren't used to dining with a big sex toy. Okay, that's not uh, the norm. Okay, okay, that's okay. Are you doing it for the show? I get it. But are you talking to her for the show? Or do you always tell her to eat her greens or whatever the fuck you just said to that thing? I mean, I know she's smiling and shit, but... She ate real, David. <coughs> Come to the I'm sorry. It's creeping me out. <laughs> imagine, imagine you invite me to dinner and I just whap a dildo down on the table and I'm like, eh? Yeah, okay, dildos don't have faces, but what if I drew one on? What if I just drew a little smiley face on a dildo and was like, can I get an extra plate, please? For Ronaldo over here? Excuse me, excuse me, beach. Oh, I do not own a dildo called Ronaldo, but... What if I did? And what if I brought it to the dinner table? At least I'm not keeping my sex toys in wheelchairs. Bianca, don't eat that before the rest of your meal. Yeah, you'll lose your appetite. But the family aren't used to dining with a big sex toy. Is this a thing? Because, I mean, this is a new one for me. So, Sean, is this something you normally do? You let David bring his balls up to supper? Once in a while, David will bring her up from supper. Son-in-law Brandon thinks toys shouldn't be allowed at the dinner table. Yeah, me too, Brandon. What you doing this weekend? <laughs> Honestly, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's so, it, first of all, it's unhygienic. Why is this thing at the dinner table? You have been fucking it. <laughs> Let's just be real about that for a hot fuck on. He sticks his dick in that thing and then brings it to the dinner table. You could say that about a girlfriend, but that is not the same fucking thing. We clean ourselves. <laughs> A fashion, yes, self-cleaning. Bianca is not self-cleaning. You gotta maintain that. What if he just in her hair and didn't wash it properly and now it's at the dinner table? I don't I don't need that in my life. Please, please, thank you, please. Holy shit, it's unhygienic. I'm sorry, I'm, this isn't kink shaming. This is just real. This is just like, why are you bringing that shit to the table, bam? You know what, I'm gonna bring to the table. A big fuck you, get out. Once in a while, they will bring her up from supper. Why, do you talk to her? Do you put food in her mouth? I mean, you put cock in her mouth. Why not put food in it? <laughs> It was weird, like really weird. To be face to face with it in that in that environment was uh, was bizarre. Mm. And this isn't the first time the family has had a run in with Bianca. I'm walking through the door, and you, at first you couldn't see anything, but there was a doll, just lifeless, blank, pale eyes, obviously because it's a fake doll, and I almost didn't know how to react. <sighs> it's got the chills. How do you react? Just finding like a random sex doll. Like, you go around to your uncle's house and it's just a sex doll on the couch. I'd be like, okay, you know, you should put that away before you have company again. What? I'm pretty sure it's harder to forget that there's a giant ass sex doll sitting on the couch rather than the dildos on the table. I mean, who hasn't, who hasn't just left their dildo on the coffee table at one point in their life? Because why not? And then, you know, it's not exactly in your face and then all of a sudden, oh shit, you got company and you forget that it's there. You move it swiftly. You don't just sleep. Oh, fuck it. I just can't. This is just not comparable, lifeless is it? Blank, pale eyes, obviously, because it's a fake doll. It's fucking and lifeless. <laughs> I almost didn't know how to react. Oh, uh, I'm hungry now. Mm. And in the middle of the night, just go downstairs and just see one of them on the couch and literally almost have a heart attack thinking someone broke into the house. It is the, the most terrifying the thing. I know. You never get used to it. I imagine it repeats. <gasps> what is it? <laughs> What are you hiding under that fucking mask, girl? Is that- Did you blow out her mouth? Did you fuck it so hard that you broke her face? I think you did, David. You really don't realize how large they are and how 
human like they are and kind mm. of how, how creepy they can be at some That's point. That's why they're so creepy, because they're more human like. Bit of an experience. I mean, that bitch is wearing makeup. Sooner or later, some celebrity is going to let people just make a sex doll of them and that's going to be the end of the world. Cara Delevingne sex doll with a penis and then that's it. Everybody's just fucking the Cara sex doll. That's so creepy. Oh, I bet people have had like custom dolls made of people. Maybe not celebrities because you can't really like sell the images, right? But I bet someone's made a creepy sex doll of someone and they're fucking it right now. And the person doesn't even know they're doing it in the basement on a wheelchair. <laughs> Swinging the sex dolls from the ceiling off their meat hooks. Oh my god, why? More sex dolls, oh my god. I'm not watching another one, I swear. And I'm not gonna buy one, I swear. Love me. Love my doll. No. No. For some people, finding a partner in life can be difficult. Yeah, it is. These fucking crazy people with sex dolls have fucking found love. I'm over here. I mean, I washed today and brushed my teeth, but I did not brush my hair. That's, that's where my life is right now. I'm not even brushing my hair to make YouTube videos. I don't care anymore, fam. I'm just here to make you giggle, and I hope I hope you did. I hope you enjoyed the fucking meat swing dolls. The meat swing doll. The fucking sex dolls on the meat swings, meat hooks, and the wheelchairs. <laughs> oh, shit, David. I'm really glad that people like this find people, because it honestly gives me just a little bit of hope that I won't die alone, but it's probably gonna happen. But still, David, thank you for that fucking half a quarter of a quarter of a centimeter that's like one eighth of an inch for the americans that's a tiny penis <laughs> i'm just talking shit because my camera's about to run out of battery and i'm just watching it but I, I i don't know i don't know guys i don't have a huge problem with sex toys i i don't i don't see why people are so fucking hard up on sex toys whether they look like women whether they look like penises why is it that when a woman has a dildo it's sexual liberation for women but when a man has a flashlight, 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 it's oppressive and sexist. <laughs> I don't get it. Let people buy sex toys. Let me mock them though if they go on the internet to advertise the basement sex dolls. It's just like a giant Barbie, but this one has a giant vagina. And my fiance puts his penis in it and I like to watch because... I'm sure she does. She must, like, they must, they must, they must all get in on it. Surely. If I dated someone and they were like, I have a sex doll, I'd be like, okay, can I see it? Like, how into this thing are you? Am I not going to be able to compete? <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I think maybe that's it. I think some women are scared of competing with sex dolls. Get over it, bitch. Let the men have the sex dolls and have the sex toys just like we do. Don't don't be shaming them too hard. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But it gets to the point though where it's like, you keeping these bitches in your basement and it's fucking creepy. Anyway, I'm all for the, the sex toys and the sex dolls and all the sex things. I think sex is great. It's all great. It's all healthy. It's all natural. It's all Mother Earth. Don't forget to bury your tampons and get back to Mother Gaia. <sighs> I'm sure Bianca's out in the woods every week with her fucking tampons. Oh, spunk tampons. Yep, I'm not editing that out. That's why I thought in my mind brain when I thought of a sex doll giving back to Mother Gaia because sex dolls don't menstruate. Now I'm just rabbiting on. I'm not even ending this video. Fuck you, I'm never leaving. You can't leave either. <laughs> but no, I'm going to put us all out of our misery. I'm going to go. Final word on this. Subscribe, asshole. <laughs> if you're not... I know you're not subscribed. Fucking subscribe. Fucking notifications for the more sex doll piss takes i don't even try anymore you know you should know that now about me now i don't try anymore i've given up on everything i'm just gonna buy a cara delavine sex doll with a big ass dick and you'll never see me again <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I picked Cara Delevingne, and I don't know why I want a sex doll that is a woman and that has a penis. I'm not- I, am I into that now? Maybe. Damn, I didn't even fucking know! Thanks, David! Didn't even realize. So glad I made this video. Now I know I like chicks with dicks. I'm out! Subscribe! Shitty merch in the description. Um, my neighbors can hear me. I'm gonna go. Thank you, Domo, for your time here today. Share, like, subscribe, and I will see you in something else tomorrow.
Hopefully I will have calmed the fuck down by then and gotten my life together, but I highly fucking doubt it. So I'll see you there, bitch.